Hi, I'm Paul. Um, last night we had the SpaceX uh, Starlight 5 satellite constellation zipping overhead just outside London here. We could see it really quite well because of the skies are so clear at the moment. Um, but it got me thinking, why not tell you guys how to make some pictures too? So here are some tips on how to do some nighttime photographs. One, don't go outside in shorts and t-shirt, Wally. Put a jacket on, put some trousers on, wrap up warm. Second thing, you need a tripod. The sturdier the better, ideally, but it doesn't matter. Anything so that you can mount the camera to it and you are not touching the camera. Number three, whatever lens you have, um, use the widest lens possible with the largest aperture. So it might be that you have an 18 to 55 standard kit lens. Uh, try and open that up to about 3.5 if it will let you. Um, this is the 16 to 35, uh, shooting at f4. So the bigger the hole, the more light we can let in. Tip number four, set the camera to manual mode. Have the lens wide open, as I just mentioned. Set the ISO approximately uh, 2000 and put your shutter speed. We'll start with, say, 10 seconds because we want to capture movement from whatever's floating around in the sky, um, but the stars will stay still. Tip number five, use a timer. Set it up for two seconds, hit the button, and away you go. Tip number six, when you are looking, uh, find something to focus on so that you can get a, like a, a base point. So I was using the Big Dipper. I was using that as my main uh, focal point and then we could see all the satellites uh, whizzing past around that because um, if you keep moving the tripod around and you've got lots of stars it's very difficult to kind of make sense of it all. Here's a few shots in a small little montage uh, that I took last night. Let's have a quick recap. Number one wrap up warm. Number two, use a tripod. Number three, use the widest lens possible. Number four, set your camera to manual mode. Have the lens wide open. Set your ISO to approximately 2000 and a shutter speed of about 10 seconds. So we want to capture some movement. Number five, use a timer or a remote. Number six, find a point to focus on. Please like and subscribe and check out my website paulkporter.com. See you soon.